Hello everyone. So today I have a very different video in mind. I want to try manifestation and or law of attraction as someone who is a skeptic. I've done a little bit of research. Um, I haven't like read The Secret or anything like that, but I have looked into some testimonials and things of that sort um, in different ways you can manifest. I am a skeptic that this works for the reasons that people say it works, but I am not like critical of these people who are using this. Um, so if you are someone who is really into manifestation and law of attraction, I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm just very curious to see whether or not it makes any difference in my life. I do understand that manifestation and law of attraction um, are different things, though they're kind of connected. So I'm going to be mostly focusing on manifestation, not the overall law of attraction. From what I understand about the law of attraction, being a skeptic kind of almost makes it very difficult for it to work according to how people think um, law of attraction works. So I can't put out the right like vibes or like frequency if I don't believe. I do understand that like this might be a, like a null test. I just do think that most people who try this might start out as a skeptic. And if it works for them, then why shouldn't it work for me? Um, so, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Um, I wanted to do this for two weeks and I decided to do four different goals or manifestations. The first three things are things that I think are possible to happen to unlikely to happen. So the first one is possible and this one is I get $100, not from my job. Um, so I do have a part-time job, so not including that, I am going to try to manifest getting $100 in some other way. Um, I do think this is definitely possible because I could get a scholarship, which sometimes happens. I also have money in the stock market, and right now it's doing very poorly, but that would also count if it went up a bunch. So I think that's very possible. My next one, and one that is less possible, is no longer having parosmia. So I have a neurological condition called parosmia, and it was caused by COVID um, in 2020. So I've had it for about 15 months. Um, and basically it causes a distortion of smell. So especially meat, garlic, onions, anything really warm smells like garbage, feces, all this horrible stuff all in one. It has actually been getting better. It gets better with time for most people. It's not very likely that it'll go away within two weeks, but if I see a like drastic improvement, that would be, I think, um, proving that one. I will be manifesting it being gone. My last one, and the one that I think is least possible, is having 1,000 subscribers by the end of the two weeks. I only have, I think, 24 right now, so yeah, that, that's very that's very unlikely because I don't think I'm going to put out another video between um, when I'm filming this and when I'm going to be done with it. So that would be very unlikely, but I will also try to manifest that. The last thing I want to manifest is actually something I thought it would be interesting to manifest something I don't want. I decided to do, someone will buy me a stuffed animal. I don't have many stuffed animals, I don't really care for them. That is also something I'm going to try to manifest. There are so many ways you can try to manifest. So I'm going to try several ways, I'm going to try to do all of these in all of the ways. So the first one I'm going to do is journaling about it as if it already happened. Very specific about how I feel and how it affects me that this happened. Um, and just be very specific about like the circumstances, I guess, and describing my feelings. So you do this once and I guess that's, that's it. Uh, next one I'm going to do is I'm going to write it down three times a day. So I'm going to say like, on this date, I will be able to eat chicken or I will have $100 extra in my bank account. 
I want to write that kind of thing down for each one three times a day. The third one I'm going to do is a vision board. So trying to visualize it. I created like a very rough kind of ugly vision board that I'll insert right here that I will be looking at and I'll be looking at that as I do the next and last manifestation technique and that is thinking about the goal for 17 seconds straight then another 51 seconds in more detail and I'm going to do that every day. I will um, update you about how it did and whether or not any of these worked. Hello, it's been two weeks for me and about two seconds for you and I can finally report back for what happened. So just to reiterate, I journaled as if I had already um, achieved it for all of the items. And I also wrote everything out um, three times a day and I lastly visualized while I was doing the um, 68 second meditation on it that I did daily for each item. Number one, the extra hundred dollars. I did not get an extra hundred dollars. Okay, I just have to cut in here because two things have happened since filming this video. First, I got a grant that I did apply for for several hundred dollars. And second, just today, I got notification that I had won a contest that I had entered into and received $100 because of that. So I received almost $1,000. This could definitely mean something um, for manifestation. Two, my prosmia getting better. Um, so I wrote down every day that my prosmia is gone. Um, I also meditated on it as if my prosmia was gone. Um, and that did not happen. So technically a fail, but it did improve. As I said before, it's been improving for months, so I can't say that this did anything, um, but I do think it might have improved faster during this period, so I really don't have a way to accurately say that. Yes, it did and it didn't because it's very hard to measure this. It's kind of just taking on my word that it might have improved faster. Three, have 1,000 subscribers. I knew from the get-go that this is going to be the most unlikely one because I did it in order of likeliness and it did not happen. I wasn't very surprised. Um, I think I have 46 subscribers and I'm definitely very grateful for that number. That's a lot for me. Um, I think I would have accepted 100 as a big goal, but thousand not nowhere close to that so I think that one was a fail. Number four, the last one was someone giving me a stuffed animal and it didn't happen. Uh, no one gave me anything in the form of a stuffed animal or anything that could be considered a stuffed animal. So I think this one was also a fail. That was all four of the goals I had been manifesting and as you can see, they almost all kind of failed. The subscribers and the stuffed animal ones definitely failed, I think. But the Prosmia one possibly actually did work, if that's the case where it did help me. I think the reason is it's internal. Um, all the other ones are external forces, and I can't control external forces. My mind can sometimes control internal forces. So even if I'm not actively trying to do anything other than just doing the manifestation techniques, I think that I might be able to control this condition a little bit through the use of it because it is internal. There's really interesting research saying that mindset can affect you in ways you would never really consider. For example, there's a research study where they rubbed a plant on the participants um, on their arm or something and they told them it was poison ivy. And a few hours later, most of them had hives in that exact area. But this plant was not poison ivy, and it wouldn't have caused hives. There's also a really interesting anecdote from this TED talk about mindset that I'll link below. And it talked about how they had a, a group of hotel maids. They gave half the maids a pamphlet on how 
doing the work they do every day is the equivalent to the amount of exercise they would need a day. So those people read it and then went on with their lives and then they measured their weight for the next few weeks. And what they found is the people who got the pamphlet lost weight. Um, they all reported that they didn't do anything extra, but it definitely is a mindset. I think one of the reasons that manifestation works for so many people is it's a mindset. And if you tell yourself you deserve these things, you claim these things, you already have these things, that's giving you the mindset you would need to get them. Of course, there might be other stuff going on. I'm not sure about that. My own experiment uh, didn't prove anything, obviously, but it was an interesting experience and I wanted to share it with all of you. Well, I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching.